Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks again for joining me. Well, today we are going to create a fun little shaker card using the Spellbinder Small Die of the Month Club Kit for March 2020. This month's club kit is so sweet. It is called 24 Carat. I thought it was adorable. Um, it's a nine piece set, has some bunnies, and then it also has a sentiment that says what's up. And so we are going to create a shaker card today. I thought the frame of the carrot was perfect for shakers. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring in some orange colored cardstock. The lighter orange is um, peaches and cream and then the darker I believe is orange rave. But um, we're going to create two carrots. So I have two different colors and then I have some felt. I thought we would, since the bunny is basically a silhouette, I thought felt is nice and fuzzy and it'd be perfect for a bunny. Um, there is a detail piece, and I thought about using pink felt for that, and I thought it might be a little bit more difficult because they're pretty small. So instead of the, the pink felt, we're going to bring in some bubblegum pink um, cardstock. Um, I think that's going to work out a little bit better. Now for the carrot tops, we're going to use the green one here, and I'm going to die cut out the green top here five times. Once everything is die cut out, we can kind of do our little assembly. And this is our little bunny. He just punch out those little eyes. And he is so cute. I love that little floppy ear. And then his little hands pop open so you can do a little tucking. Um, for the back of his eyes, I thought we would use black cardstock. But I did. I wanted his nose to be pink. So what I'm going to do is use the same pink cardstock and die cut out just the face of the bunny. And then I'm going to keep that little nose piece and then I'm going to do a little inlaying. But first we're going to add the um, black cardstock behind the face. That way when we do the inlaying with the pink, um, it has a place to go and it will start going to fall through. I'm going to add a little bit of glue behind the head of my bunny. And then I just trim down a piece of cardstock that would fit behind his little head. And then you can see, actually he looks cute like this with the little black nose, but I thought a pink would make him a little bit more dainty. Um, we're going to add the nose, which I misplaced. <laughs> it was so little. So I'm going to just take another piece of pink cardstock and die cut out the nose one more time. We'll just inlay that in there. I already added the glue. And I think the pink nose just makes him look a little more cuter. We're going to add details to his ears and to his little tail. I'm adding a dot of glue and then we'll put the tail to the left of him. And then we'll add his little ear pieces. And I think the felt just looks so cute. Um, I think felt on cards just adds that textural element, especially during spring or Easter. I just love doing this. These little pieces are for the, the other bunny in the die set that's sitting down. I thought we would take one of the carrot tops and that has detail on it too. Even with the felt, you could still see the detail. I'm going to add a little glue behind one of them and then I'll tuck it underneath his little hands as if he's holding the carrot top there. I just think that's adorable. <laughs> okay, we'll set that aside and then now we're going to work on our background. Um, I'm going to flip flop the colors so we have um, opposites with each other and on the um, darker frame we're going to use it as a guide and cut out a piece of acetate. Um, I'm going to add glue around the frame and then we're going to add a piece of acetate. Um, I thought for this one we would make a shaker and then for the other one it'd be a perfect uh, home for the sentiment and I have glue oozing out so I was trying to white clean it up my messies. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a very thin strip of foam adhesive. Now I'm just using one layer. If you want to put two on there, um, you could. Um, but I thought one layer was perfect. And it doesn't make my card too bulky. I just went around my entire carrot. I hope I didn't call it an egg. I wanted to call it an egg, but it's a, it's a carrot, guys. <laughs> okay. And then for my other carrot, I'm going to tape the frame of the carrot and then the inside of the carrot together. We're going to create one piece, but with two different colors. I'm just using some washi tape that I had in my stash to secure them together. And then that is ready to go. Okay, now we're going to work on our background. Now for the background, I'm going to bring in a stamp. This is from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's called Flannel Life. I thought it'd be a perfect background um, 
to stamp with some yellow ink make it and I I found my circle die I was looking for <laughs> it's amazing where you find things but um I added some cardstock to the inside of my Misty, and then I'm going to add my my background stamp. We're going to use a banana cream ink from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's a nice soft yellow, and we'll stamp that a few times on our background panel. I did trim down my background panel to measure four inches by five and a quarter. This way, I have a little bit of a border on my card base. Okay, I think that looks great. I love that kind of gingham print. Um, we're going to set that aside, making sure nothing stuck to the back of my Misty. We're going to go ahead and adhere our background panel directly to an A2 size card base. Once this is adhered, um, we can kind of play around with the placement of our carrots. This way we know where to position them um, before we commit to tacking them down. Once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and tack down the inside piece, and then I did tuck my carrot tops right behind it. I think that's going to be great. For the inside of my shaker, I'm going to bring in some um, gold sequins. These are called gold friendship sequins from Fun Stamper's Journey. I have lots of them, so I thought gold would be perfect with that orange. I added a few, then we'll take our carrot frame, go over the top, and I think, and it shakes a little bit. I mean, some of them get stuck, but that's okay. I don't mind that because it, you could. You can see them. <laughs> okay, with this other piece, I'm going to add foam adhesive to the right side of it, and then we're going to use glue to the left. This way everything is nice and even. We'll remove the release paper and add that, and then I'll just tuck my carrot tops right underneath here using a little bit of glue. We'll add our two, and you can add as many carrot tops as, as you like. I thought two was like the perfect number. Okay, after we have this adhered, we're gonna go ahead and add some foam adhesive behind our little carrot, or our little bunny here. And the foam adhesive sticks to it beautifully. I wanna add some thinner strips to his ears so they're not floppy. And then he is basically gonna go on the very bottom of the shaker carrot. Just add him there and then we can go ahead and add our sentiment um, since the sentiment is fine um, it's a little bit detailed I thought I'd bring in my glue sponge and it worked like a charm I added the what's and then we'll put the up and the question mark right next to each other I'm just gonna use my acrylic block to hold the hold that down while it dries And then for bells and whistles, since we had the sequins sitting on the desk, I'm just going to add three, spreading out that gold a little bit to the more the sentiment ca uh, carrot there. We'll just add three using some glue, and then that completes my card for today, guys. Um, I thought the felt and the shaker together would be a little bit bulky, but you know what? It really isn't. I think um, just one layer of the foam tape um, made it less bulky, and then that felt is really not that bulky. That's my little What's Up Shaker card. I think this little bunny is so cute. And if you're interested in the Small Die of the Month Club Kit, it'll be listed down below. It's a neat club because every month a die set is um, delivered to your door. And just to make sure, I thought we'd better check and see if it'll fit in the regular envelope. And it fits beautifully. I'm sure you're going to need extra postage, but um, it still fits in your envelope. So that's a, that's a good thing. Okay, now if you stuck with me to the end, I have another giveaway to share for you. Um, I appreciate you guys so much and I am giving away a small die of the month die set to one lucky winner. Um, all you have to do to enter this giveaway, oh and you know what I did? I did package the same supplies that I used for my card. I put it in a little package for you guys too. So, you, so the felt that I used and the cardstock and the sequins. Um, are all in that little pack so if you want to emulate or uh, uh, case my card you very well could <laughs> but all you have to do to enter is leave a comment and then on Sunday uh, through a random number generator I will pick one lucky winner and um, I'll notify you via the comments thanks so much for joining me guys I wish you a lovely lovely day and we will see you again soon bye bye <music>